A lot of you liked my first tutorial about an animated webcam, so I decided to take it further and bring you a new video and here teach you how to create a neon light face cam all here inside of After Effects. So you can see the end result right around here. Hope you like it and let's get to the tutorial. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to name it Render, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, click OK. Then select the shape tool, make sure it's selected to a rectangle tool. The fill is set to 9, the stroke is set to solid color, 2 pixels. Double click the rectangle tool. Now select the shape layer, press S for the scale and set the scale to 50%. Let's rename the shape layer to frame to stay organized. Then navigate to your effects and presets tab, search for effect called Vegas and apply this to the frame layer. Straight away go to effect controls and set segment to 1. Then for the blend mode, set it to transparent so we don't see the actual shape layer. And keep adjusting the settings as you like. I'm going to say width to 10 pixels. And also length to 0.5. I'm also going to adjust and opacity, set it to 0.2. As for the color, you're free to choose any color that you like. I'm going to choose the purplish color. And now the fun part, the actual animating. Make sure you are at the beginning of your composition and go to rotation and create a keyframe at zero. And then go to the end of your composition, so 10 seconds here, and set the rotation value to one. Now that'll make it do a full cycle throughout our composition. And if you preview, you can see that the rotation is going to the right. That's because the rotation value is set to a positive one. If we go back to the last keyframe and set the rotation value to minus one, the rotation direction will change to the left, as you can see. And in my case, that looks better, but you do what suits your needs better, of course. I'm also going to change the layers color to a pink to stay organized. Because we'll be duplicating the layer now. So select the frame layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And straight away, I'm going to change the color to a cyan because I'll be changing the color to a cyan. So select the frame 2 and set a different color. So again, you free to choose any color that you like. Now go ahead and select the frame 2 on your timeline and press U to reveal the keyframes. Make sure you are at the first keyframe and set rotation value to 180. I'll make it upside down and then go to the last keyframe at 10 seconds and set the rotation again 180 degrees and that'll make it flip as well. So if we preview this now you'll have a, a really nice seamless rotation just like that. So in my opinion, that looks clean and we can proceed to applying glow effects. Uh, you can right click a uh, new adjustment layer. I'm going to rename this to glow again to stay organized. You don't have to do this and go to effects and presets and search for glow, stylize glow, a regular one. Apply this to the glow adjustment layer. You don't have to change any settings for the glow one. You just have to select it and press control D to create a duplicate. As for the glow 2, we're going to increase the glow radius to 60. And now we can go back to glow 1 and slightly increase the glow radius to something like 15, not much. Let's have a preview. Well, I think that's how a neon face cam should look. But if you don't like the look of it, you can always duplicate the glow, create a glow 3, increase the radius even higher. 170 you can see how intense it gets you can decrease the glow intensity so it's not too intensive on you and uh, yeah you can you can do that you're free to choose you know different settings for you but i think that two glows is enough for a neon look here and that concludes the short tutorial if you learned something new and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and i'm going to thank you for watching and see you in the next video